Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Futures Trader here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. Gotta get more followers. Everyone, in today's video, I thought I would answer the top 10 questions I receive about Apex Trader funding. Might actually even throw in a few extras, some kind of merge together. I get quite a few emails and comments, people asking, you know, specific questions about Apex Trader funding. I would say they all tend to fall in a few different categories. So rather than answering each individual person, I just wanted to share the information with everybody. So if you're having these questions, you too will now be in the know. I actually put up an article on my website. So if you read this, this video will basically be just kind of mimicking that. Although I want to explain some of the things a little bit further. I tried to keep the article just brief, like here's the answer, next question. Uh, in this video, I might try to dive into them a bit more. Uh, you find this article under my articles section. If you click on articles, you just see all of them or you can go into specific categories if you want. I'll mention before we get started as well, Two things. One, there are timestamps down below. So if you want to jump around to a specific question, you can do that as well. Apex Trader funding currently 50% off any account up to 20 accounts. This code expires on March 31st, 2022. So if you're seeing this video in the future past then, check my website because who knows, they might renew the discount. I don't know, honestly, at this point, there might be a different discount. I keep all of these updated on my deals and promotions page, which is exclusive promo. So if you come here, I'll always list out the current best promotion for Apex Trader funding. As well, just a quick glance at their site. They did a re kind of vamp of it, I don't know, about a month or two ago. Uh, looks a little bit more sharp, a little more crisp, really like it. I'm putting together a couple videos about Apex. It's actually been just over, quite literally, they launched uh, mid-September. It's now mid-March, so they've been in business for six months. So, so I'm also doing a video doing a revised review. Essentially, my initial review was just based on, you know, what I saw at first glance. Uh, I've obviously been through their program. I passed in October 2021, funded with them still with Apex, still receiving payments every month. So I'm going to do a complete separate video, kind of doing my updated review uh, punchline. I mean, nothing's changed to the bad. If anything, everything is great. But now I'll be able to speak a little bit more having been with them for several months. So look for that video as well on my channel. Okay, let's go through these questions. I'm not going to read verbatim what I wrote here. I want to add more color to what I wrote. So is Apex Trader funding legit slash, you know, do they pay their traders is really what I think a lot of people are asking. Yes, they absolutely do. Guys, if they didn't pay traders, I wouldn't have them on my website. So yes, they're absolutely legitimate. Yes, they pay their traders. If they did not, or I had any cause for concern, I wouldn't put them on my website. You know, I'm kind of hanging, you know, my flag on all these various companies as well and saying, hey, I trust these companies. I'm with these companies. I endorse these companies. If they weren't paying traders, 100%, I would not have them on my website. As well, to take it a step beyond, besides myself who can vouch for them and have been paid by Apex, if you go on their Facebook group, even just as an example, there's plenty of traders on there who are with Apex. They're posting their payouts. It's not hard to find other traders who've been paid with them to find other good reviews. It's 100% legit, 100% they pay their traders. So the next question here, have you, meaning me, the CFT, been paid by Apex Trader Funding, kind of goes with that previous question. Yes, I have absolutely been paid by Apex. I was funded in October. I was eligible to withdraw at the end of November. I did so, and I was paid. And I put up a video showing that the best I can. I obviously blanked out, you know, my bank account info and stuff like that. Since then, I've been paid out every single month, guys. Again, 100% can vouch for them. If I put in a withdrawal request and was not paid out, or there was some, you know, runaround, absolutely there would be cause for concern. But it's been quite the opposite. It's been 100% smooth sailing. Apex people are great to talk to, very communicative. So, yes. I've been paid by Apex and I've been paid by Apex every single month since my first payout. Is there a daily drawdown with Apex Trader Funding? So there is not. Some of these questions I just said, you should check out the facts on their website rather than me go on a long rambling explanation about the trailing drawdown and how that works. It's basically the answer to the question is no, there's no daily drawdown. They do have a trailing drawdown. That is essentially like the biggest rule that you have to abide by is not hit that trailing drawdown and there's lots more information about that on their website but no daily loss limit what are the rules of apex to pass i think sometimes people 
feel like it's too easy. It's too good to be true. I've heard that more than once. Really, the rules boil down to very simple, and, and some of them aren't even rules that you have to not break. Some of them are just goals you have to reach, right? So let's let's go through these real fast. Meet the profit goal, and we'll take a quick look at Apex's site in a second. I just want to show. Don't violate the trailing drawdown. I would say that's like the main rule that you have to abide by. Uh, do not trade more contracts than you're allowed, but their system won't let you. So if your max is 20, if you try to trade 22, it just won't let you. So that's kind of a hard one to break um, and trade at least 10 days. Again, this is like kind of a rule, but it's more, it's not really a rule that you can break, right? You know, if you pass and reach the profit goal in four days, you just continue to trade for the next six, just do a quick little in and out trade. And that's that. So it's not really a rule you can break. It's just a, some, a goal you have to meet. I would put it more that way. So let's take a look at their site really quick. I'm going to scroll down here to the 300K just because that's what I passed and I am in. So you're allowed to trade up to 35 contracts. Um, or if you're a micros person, you can read that. Profit goal is 20K. The trailing threshold, the trailing drawdown, uh, whatever verbiage you want to use, is 7,500. That's basically it. Trade the 10 days. Buy by the trailing threshold. I guess I should actually put this. I never really think of this. There is, you can only trade between these hours, which is basically 23 hours a day. So I will add that to the article. I'm just now seeing that I kind of left that out. Uh, max position size. It even says here, our system caps out your position. So you will never actually like trade more contracts than you're allowed to. You're allowed to trade during the news. Uh, hit your profit goal. So the rules are fairly straightforward. And I will add that the hours on here just so it's 100% clear. What are the commissions for trading? So some companies just do a fixed commission per contract regardless of what you're trading. You know, $4 around, you know, $2 each side. So $4 a round trip. Apex actually has commissions by product and they vary. I would say they pretty much replicate like what a real brokerage account would be. If you want a specific product, again, go to their facts. I'm not going to list out every single commission here. Just go to their facts and read that. So what software can I use for Apex Trader funding evaluation? So all of the evaluation companies use Rhythmic as your data feed and kind of your account connection, if you will. Now, all the companies, as Apex included, provide you with a free copy of NinjaTrader to use. So you can certainly use NinjaTrader. Beyond that, though, you are free to use any software you want as long as it will connect to Rhythmic. So a good example, I use Jigsaw Day Trader. I can connect Jigsaw Day Trader directly to Rhythmic if I want, completely bypass Ninja. Quick aside, I do a little something different with mine. I actually bridge it off Ninja Trader for other reasons. But the point is, you can use any software that will connect with Rhythmic. I don't want to try to name any just in case I'm incorrect, especially since I don't really use any other software. But I know there are several other software packages out there that traders are using. And as long as it connects to Rhythmic, you can use it. Of course, you will have to provide your own license. So unless it's free, and there's really not too many free ones out there, uh, even Jigsaw itself, you know, costs some decent money if you want to invest in that. Uh, but you do have that option. How do I withdraw money from Apex Trader funding? So I kept this explanation to the specific process of withdrawing money. Nothing to do with the payout schedule and the caps on the first few, etc. Again, best to read their facts as well. You know, who knows? Maybe this changes some in the future, so I don't want to memorialize too much of it. Speaking of this, though, I am planning on not doing an additional video where I do go through that entire withdrawal process, not just the withdrawal process, but the amounts you're able to withdraw, the number of days you need to trade, and just kind of explain it. So look for that video sometime here in March 2022 as well. But as far as actually getting paid, so you are funded, you've been trading away, uh, you're ready to withdraw. Okay. Withdrawals are processed once a month on the last day of the month. You have to submit your request between the 20th and 25th. So the 20th rolls around. How you do it, you send Apex a help desk request and you have to tell them a few things. I think are common sense. One, how much you wish to withdraw, what payment method you want, and then any information they need to pay you that way. So, hey, Apex people, I'd like to withdraw $5,000. Uh, I'd like to receive it through PayPal. Here's my PayPal email address. Uh, one person asked me, do you tell them kind of the total amount you want to withdraw and then they keep their 10% or do you tell them the amount that you want to receive? I would say just make it clear. Tell them, you know, hey, I would like to withdraw 5,000 in total, of which I would receive 90% of that, which is 4,500. 
just if you want to be explicitly clear. If you request, you know, a wire transfer, an ACH, you're going to have to tell them that, and you'd have to give them your banking information. It's fairly straightforward. Payouts are processed on the last day of the month. Depending on what method you choose, you might not necessarily receive your money that day. So a good example is myself. I receive it through ACH to a U.S. bank account. Just to be clear, I know a lot of people get confused because I'm in Canada. ACH is a U.S. bank transfer system, but I do have U.S. bank. So when they initiate an ACH, it takes two days, and that's just a banking system thing. It has nothing to do with Apex. So they initiate it on the last day of the month I receive it two days later so this next question is interesting it kind of makes me laugh but I, I get it because people aren't really thinking things through uh, but it also frustrates me a little bit because I feel like people should think things through a little bit more so let's go through it so what happens if a trader made a million dollars or insert any big number here wouldn't they bankrupt the company a few points but the the short answer is no you will not so one you have zero incentive to keep trading with a prop firm if you're making a million dollars think about it you know apex is a 90 10 split if you're a million dollar trader do you really want to be giving up a hundred thousand dollars to the prop firm when if you're making that much money you could certainly trade your own account you could easily fund and trade 35 contracts yourself whatever your desires might be you really wouldn't have the incentive to stay with them if you're making, you know, a million dollars. I'm also going to say, I think some of you need to check yourself a little bit. Chances of you being a million dollar trader, like go back a few steps, just work on passing, work on getting funded and growing your account uh, before you worry about being a million dollar trader. I see this question enough uh, that that's why it is on here, unfortunately. So second, in the performance account, which is kind of their version of a funded account, if you get to a point, and a lot of companies do this, where you show a great aptitude in trading, they will kind of move you into either a completely 100% funded account, or they will do something like they'll replicate your trades into a master account. There's different ways they handle it. But the point being is that million dollars, again, which isn't, I'm going to go out on a limb and say isn't going to happen, but your million dollars that you're making isn't coming out of the company's pockets. It's coming out of the market and the trades you're making. So I'll leave it at that. But no, you are not going to bankrupt this company or any other company with your million dollars trading techniques. What products can I trade with Apex? Very generic question. Best to check their facts again. The thing I did write on here is you can't trade FX, stocks, options, etc. It's a futures trading evaluation. It is futures trading products that you trade. Check out their site because some of the companies, the one biggest quirk is some companies allow micro Bitcoin and micro Ethereum, so the micro cryptos. Some don't. So if that is your fancy, always be sure to check on what you are specifically allowed to trade. Obviously, if you trade like standard products, like ES and, and Q or Ultra Bond, that's all fully allowed. So what are the monthly fees after passings? When you take the evaluation, let me just go back to their site. I'm going to scroll down to 300K. So you pay 657 a month, or you can use code CAN50 and get 50% off that for all of the months. Once you pass, this fee stops. So remember, you only have to trade 10 days. So you can finish this in a month. I finished it in, I mean, the 10 days. I, I think I technically passed in four four days when I did it, four or five, I don't quite remember now. Um, and then still had to do kind of the small trades each day, but I passed in 10 days. Once you pass, this fee stops. So if you're good enough to pass in a month, it's essentially a one-time, one-month fee, and again, you can get half off of this about 325, 330. Once you pass and you get your performance account, there's an $85 a month fee per account. And this covers your data fee and your withdrawal fee. So there's no withdrawal fees later on. This amount, I will say, is per account. So you're allowed to take multiple accounts with Apex. So say you have 20 accounts, you use my coupon code, you take 20 of them, you pass them all. Well, you have to pay $85 per account. So keep that in mind. Some people feel like this is excessive. I mean, honestly, I hope your aspirations are more than making $85 in a month per account to the point where this is minuscule and kind of a non-event. That's the way I personally look at it, uh, but certainly just worth mentioning. Point being is that monthly fee does stop once you pass and then you just pay $85. If you break a rule, can you reset the account? Short answer, pretty universal. Uh, yes, during the evaluation phase, you can reset your account and that fee is $80. Uh, you get a fresh start, it resets pretty quickly, um, definitely like within an hour and usually much faster than that and you can continue trading. Now you do, when you reset, you effectively go back to day one, you go back to a fresh balance, etc. If you're passed, if you're in a funded performance account, no, you cannot reset your account at that point. If you break a rule, you've effectively lost your account and you can make the choice if you want to go back to doing the evaluation again or not. 
one point I want to make here on the $80 reset. Depending on which account you're in, it might make more sense to just cancel your account and re-sign up. So a good example is the 25K. If you're in the 25K, that's $147 a month. But if you use the 50% off code, it's basically you know $75 a month. It would actually be cheaper to just cancel it and sign up again and pay the $75 than to pay $80. Now, if you don't want that slight inconvenience, sure, you could pay $80. Also worth mentioning though, is if you were to cancel it and then re-sign up, you're kind of restarting the number of days as well until your next billing cycle. So say you were 20 days into the month and you broke a rule, I would really consider, you know, just canceling your account and then re-signing up to give you the full, you know, 30 days for the month on the billing side. Again, each of these, you would have to decide. So it would obviously say the 75K, you know, it's 90, whatever, $94 a month. Sure, it would be cheaper to reset, but if you're at the point where you're gonna bump into another month's rebuild, you are better off canceling and re-signing up. And that is basically it guys. So that's the main questions I get. So my advice to everyone is a few things. If you have a question, go to the Apex website, click on their click on their facts, and you can search the facts, you can scroll through it, etc. All the information you probably have a question about is contained right here. As well, they have their Facebook group, they have a few other social media outlets as well. Personally, I used to entertain questions, but I got to the point where I was spending about three hours a day answering people's questions about various companies, and I kind of had to put an end to it because it was eating into my own personal time to trade. And when it got to the point where I felt like I was more a customer support agent than I was a trader, I wasn't really having much fun and decided, you know what, unfortunately, no more answering general questions. I will put out content like these articles, like these videos. I'm happy to inform the masses, but one-on-one, -on -one, it's not a great use of my time to be answering questions like how do withdrawals work when the information is quite literally on their website. So that is it for this video, guys. I am looking forward to doing my six months kind of review, catch up, etc. with Apex. I'm as well looking forward to actually doing an extensive review about the payouts, um, just because that is one that is fairly detailed. There's a lot to it. So I understand why people maybe get confused about them. So I'm gonna walk you through it. If that's something you're interested in, that video will be up soon as well. And then, hey, uh, maybe I'll make some more in the future as well. You know, the trailing drawdown is usually something uh, that kind of gets people. They're not quite sure how that works, especially if you're new to these programs. But we will see where that goes, guys. I have talked long enough about Apex Trader funding for now. Be sure to use that code CAN50. Also be sure to check out my page after March 31st and see what the new deal is. Uh, if there is a new deal, I very honestly have no idea if it's gonna continue or not. I mean, I obviously hope that it does, but you can always find the latest and greatest in trader valuation deals, including Apex's, right on my website, CanadianFuturesTrader.ca, and the link is down below. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.